Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can achieve a visual hierarchy in a poster design. Visual hierarchy is super important to know as it's a fundamental of graphic design. It's one of the principles. Achieving good visual hierarchy means that you can be better in design because you're able to get information across correctly. The brain sees information in different ways and we need to make sure that we take advantage of small principles in design to which makes that a reality. So if you're new to design or you're just new to Vectinator, here is how you can create a poster and learn a visual hierarchy super easily. Okay, so what we have here is a poster that I designed, but I've actually messed it up slightly. I've made it look worse than it is because it lacks visual hierarchy. In basic terms, visual hierarchy is the way that the elements of typography or the assets that you're using are displayed and laid out on the poster or whatever you're designing. For instance, the visual hierarchy that we see here from top to bottom is the stay is obviously the largest and the most bold type. So that's the first thing that you see. That's what the eye is drawn to. Under stay, we see that the, the word that we see next is save lives and probably help others. Now this isn't really well designed. That's because we haven't followed the principles of visual hierarchy and it's super important to really grasp this now the problem with this message is if i was to scale this down it becomes ineffective and that's because of the bad visual hierarchy we haven't actually got any in there and obviously we've got some issues with like alignment down here as well so what we read when it's small is stay save lives help others be kind all the other words are like kind of not in the right order so what we want to do is make people read this correctly and easily by creating the words and bringing emphasis to the words that make the most sense. So for instance, stay home, that is the biggest one. When it came to everything that the world's going through right now, stay home was the big message. So we need to make sure that stay home, the two words there, are the key thing that people see. The rest of this can kind of get smaller it doesn't have to be viewed but we want to get the key message out we work out the key message then we create the layout and composition and create visual hierarchy so because stay is big we're going to scale that back a little bit and i'm just scaling it like so home we want this to be roughly the same size so what i'm going to do is move all these down a little bit to give me more size or to give me more area to move this up to scale this up stay home we want that to be big we want this to be big roughly the same size now that we've got this we can go to save lives we'll scale this down a tiny bit and because it's actually wide enough to fit in the rectangle of home by that i mean the points at the start and the end we can lift this up stay home save lives now what we've got here is a really good layout at the top visually it looks better. You can read it, it makes sense. Stay home being the top message, save lives being the bottom message or the last message at the top. The other part of visual hierarchy is understanding balance. So balance is basically how it looks on a page. Now we have to understand how cultures read. In the English language, we read from left to right, top to bottom. So as you notice that all my typography isn't actually centered. Now I would always suggest to stay away from centered typography. It just looks so much cleaner and more professional, justifying it to the left. By justifying, I mean that the start of the type is at the left and we stay towards the left side. And that's because we can read left to right. And we use the sizes as ways of getting points across. So for instance, save lives. Let's bring this here. Let's bring the divider in. Now, what we don't talk about a lot with visual hierarchy is breaking up the message. So we've got two messages here, stay home, save lives, and then clean hands, help others be kind is the last message. So what we wanna do with these is create a break. So we people understand when they're reading this that there are two messages. And we can do this by either adding a number. So you could be like number one, stay home, save lives. And then number two, clean hands, help others be kind. But because this post-it is very chunky, I don't want any unnecessary information, we can add a line break here. And this line break really helps us show 
the differences in messages. And we want it to be roughly the same size as, as home. And we want that to be justified to the left, but also so it fits here, so it doesn't like go crazy far out to the right and look a bit weird. We want it to all be in line with each other. So we're gonna add this break, and then here, we're gonna start moving these as well into a better visual hierarchy. And we can do this by scaling it down first of all. So scale everything down, and we're gonna bring clean hands here. Scale clean hands down. That's the secondary message here. We want clean hands to be not tiny, but smaller than the rest of the top of the message, just to bring that visual hierarchy. You can see from top to bottom, it, it's reading correctly. It's the most important message at the top. Then as we come further down, it's the least important messages. If anyone's gonna be going past this poster, they're gonna see stay home first. And that is the main thing. So down here, just under clean hands, we've got something called help others. Now it's blocked like this, just to break it up. If we just had clean hands, help others, it would just look too much like a list. As a designer, to get visual hierarchy is not just the most important thing, actually balancing it out and making it visually appealing is just as important to get people to look at the whole poster. So with help others, we want it to be justified to the left, so we're actually not gonna justify it so the H is directly under the C. We're gonna do it so the block is. This block really gives it a bit of dimension. Okay, and then be kind at the bottom. We can add this to be bigger or smaller because although it's not the biggest message, it's nice to end on a slightly nice tone and also it fits well within the composition. Something else that would fit well is just bringing it further down so we have this slope going down here. You can do multiple different things. Now obviously here we've got a really nice design. We're going to scale everything down just so slightly just to see what it looks like. We've got good balance and proportions between the lines, between the messages. Obviously we can tweak this all day, but the general premise is that we read from top to bottom, left to right, the bolder it is, the first thing that people see. And the key message needs to be the first thing that people see, and that is what effective graphic design is. Remember, you don't need to fill out the whole page like I've done here, this is just one of the styles. You could literally just have a poster that was stay home, and that's it. We've got a lot of space down here for an image or whatever else we need. We've got places where you can put more information for other pieces of information for different posters. There's so many ways of fixing this up. And that is how you create easy visual hierarchy inside of a Vectinator. Super easy, you're just manipulating everything. It's more theory based, but as you start to understand the message that you're trying to tell, the easier it will be to understand where you need to make certain words bigger, and certain actions smaller. Thanks for watching and subscribe to Vectinator for more videos like this.